Welcome back to Meshman Studio. So this is gonna be a quick one and my name is Peter Oversteen. So I wanna take uh, what we learned from the shading series here. So I have this, uh, I just model a quick, uh, like a cinema lens. So I'm gonna do something here if I jump over to, I'm gonna take inspiration from this scene. I'm not sure if it's plastic or if it's painted metal. So I'm, I think I'm gonna do it kind of like a, it's a plastic housing. Yeah, it looks like some kind of metals. So yeah, do something. But it, it's, I think it's been uh, almost like uh, some kind of painted on top of the metal. So let's jump back to like this now. So we can start to see here. Let's apply here some shaders. So I guess this one we're gonna make a glass out of. Let's name it glass shader. This is gonna be the same material. We can make this uh, painted metal black. This is gonna be some kind of uh, red metal or anodized. Red metal, and this is gonna be brushed metal. Brushed metal. Yeah, I have a HDR here. Let's fire up an IPR. So first off, this one we want to make glass. So we're gonna take away the fuse there, set up to uh, to glass. Yes, do it like this. There we have glass. Let's take a look. Do we have some glass here? Yeah, I will. Um, I would need more lenses and stuff in and build internal stuff to get this kind of effect. I guess we want to uh, tweak this. First off, I'm gonna see here if I have uh, didn't have subdivision on this one. Now it's subdivided. Catmon Clark. So I go into the shape nodes at Catmon Clark here on my surfaces. I'm kind of uh, working on the limits on my computer. It's a it's a four core, so it's not the fastest. I'm actually uh, recording on Camtasia at the same time, so it might be a little slower than it would be if I just uh, was rendering by itself. I don't have the most powerful computer here, but uh, you know, we'll we'll manage. So let's see here, painted metal black. If it's plastic, we can have a a, a tiny bit. Let's assume it's plastic and take a little of uh, the fuse there. We want to have some face and edge color. So we see here, the more I go to edge, it's going to be more on the sides there. You see the, and now let's play with the roughness. So I guess we, we want some pretty much rough. Uh, it's pretty rough actually that to this one and take a look here. Yeah, there's a lot of roughness in this one. Okay, so now to the brushed metal. So we select this one. Let's go into the brush metal shader here and take away the fuse altogether because it's gonna be metallic. So we can just set here something like that. Set down, the, if I want a total metallic here, just pump this up great bit here like that I'm gonna do something like this and play here with the roughness let's see I guess it depends on the lighting here I have more contrast in the light this is a studio setup so I have a light blocker here uh, two I guess two uh, rim lights or uh, like uh, side lights and something that blocks the light would give this reflection there and we can pre uh, play here actually with um, GGX let's see what happens might have to reduce this a bit then. and then we want to play with anisotropy here maybe yeah that gives let's try it like this now the final one here let's take this one so here i want to see here what type of material so i could make this like a varnish but i, th I think this actually is uh, um, like a, a painted metal Let's take a look here. So let's let's experiment. Actually, we can uh, see here. Let's uh, cheat a bit here and take the preset browser here and see what we have. Red metal. Let's apply that one and and see what happens. Import. We're almost there now. Guess we have to tweak this a bit. So we see here. 
let's go to the side here and see where we have more direct light let's do this more saturation so that's diffuse we should play with this one let's take the face color go towards something like that maybe let's play a bit with the roughness and see what happens it was kind of a broad a little more orange in it so edge color let's set this up a bit saturated try that why not the quick and dirty use of uh, a few shaders and um, the preset if you like this uh, format just a quick one consider subscribing and uh, yeah leave your comments below what you think and uh, share this if you like it and would like to see more of this kind of content yeah see you on the channel bye bye